I'm about to try and sex my millipede, but first I have got to find it. <laughs> he's really small, hence why he's in a really small tub right now. I have got a really big one for him as he grows already. Sorry, well, it's not prepared for him obviously because it's going to take a while, but it's sitting there waiting for him. Uh, so let's see if I can find the wee nutter. This is the bit that always takes the longest. And, uh... There he is. I see ya. I see ya coming up. Oh, Jesus. Wait. You can't really see because of the angle the camera's at. No, D George, no. No, no, no. Down. 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 Good boy. Right. So, I have to... Th he is so tiny and I don't want to hurt him. But I have to kind of like flip him on his back to look at his legs. So I'm going to wait until he's gotten a wee bit longer because he's just kind of still moving around as a little ball. <laughs> he's just a baby. He's going to grow to about the size of a ruler and hopefully, I think, I, I mean I've been hearing lots of different things from lots of different sources but about the thickness of a thumb hopefully. Right, let's try this. I don't want to hurt you, I just want to pick you up This is really- no, because he curls up straight away The cat don't need to be needed either, you need to move too I've got enough distractions in my own brain Right Chicken Can you please get up? Uh, this is so tricky because I'm trying to be so careful. Right. This is difficult. Come on. George, can you fuck it off? Who did you pick for Okay. Yeah, that whoa. Okay. Now I saw a tiny little break. Uh, so basically you have their heads a wee so on a male millipede. You have their heads, a wee bit of legs, a wee break, no legs. <sighs> And then more legs, obviously. With a female, that break isn't there, it's just all leg. And I'm trying to figure out if this wee guy is male or female, even though I've been calling him a dude. <laughs> He's my wee man. Yeah, okay, you're kind of floating, but because you, you're wiggle so, he, he's so wiggly. He's just a little worm guy. He just like wiggles so much. Like, <laughs> you gonna let me see? I think you might be a girly. You might be a girly. Now, obviously, it will be easier to tell when they're bigger, but I think there is a chance that I've got a wee girl here. It's actually really cool. Like, yeah. Are you a little girly? Hello! Oh, I have another princess! I think so anyway. I'm like 90% sure. Yeah. Oh, I am so obsessed. This little darling. Let's see if I can get it to focus on her. What if I take my face away? Will you focus then? 
Oh my god, what are you doing? What are you doing? Stop trying to fly! I know I love you. I love you. You're so cute. You're so cute. Oh my god, I'm so tempted to put her on my face, but she's so small at the same time. I don't want to do that until she's bigger. But she's just... She's just been a wiggly butt. He's such a wiggly butt. Yeah, she's a girly. So Bartholomew's a girl. <laughs> oh, where are you going now? Not had many girl pets. I know that one of my cockroaches is female, for definite. Um, one of my birds was female, and I have a female cat. The snails are her hermaphrodites. Uh, the hermit crabs I've never, um, never sexed before. To be honest, their sexing involves them having to be out of their shell, so I'm not bothering with that crap. Whereas this is easier, I just look at the legs, and it's kind of the same with the cockroaches. Uh, there's a couple of other features, but uh, because they're hissers, there's the horn feature. Um, but yeah, this, oh god, this little princess here.